We're about to begin season two of Crosstalk, and trust me, it is going to be one interesting discussion. We're talking makeup, trick or treat. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have fun. Ladies, we now have Shauna of Shauna's Makeup, Hi. and we have Shaniqua of Fairy Faces. First of all, ladies, Hello. welcome to the discussion. Thank you. Please do not kill me, I'm about to have so much fun. <laughs> now, let's begin. As a man, right, um, if I'm going out, I can take a bath, brush my hair, brush my teeth, and then I have to go through the door, you know? I have no other options and, you know, I tell myself I'm beautiful. So just quickly ask this question for me. Anybody, why do women love makeup? <laughs> I don't think that that is a one dimensional, um, there's not a one dimensional answer for that question. I think women love makeup for several reasons. From the smallest of child, if you look at little girls, they mm -hmm. want to dress up, they want to doll yes, up, they're yes. always with their dollies and having fun. I think it's in it, it's built in. Um, I think some of us express it more as we get older, but I think as girls, it's just kind of natural to love to doll up or to want to doll up and look nice. So I think women love makeup for different reasons. Oh, let me hear your thoughts now, Shana. Yeah, I think women love makeup because some people may not like certain aspects of themselves, so that it will allow them to, like, I don't want to say cover, but just allow them to feel a bit more confident about themselves, you know? All right, it's interesting that you use that word cover. Now, like I said, I'm going to be the devil's advocate. So I want to ask this question then. So, like, why or what is the actual purpose of makeup? And I'm going to give two scenarios. Is makeup supposed to be used to enhance, you know, what is already there? Or is makeup to be used, you know, completely, I want to find a nice way of putting this, to completely alter the person's image? I want to start first. I feel like makeup is whatever the person that is wearing it wants it to be. If she wants to enhance her face, she can enhance her face. If she wants to go full out drag, she can go full out drag. Like, it doesn't have, like, it's not, like, definitely supposed to be enhanced and definitely supposed to be, you know, a trick uh-huh it's just what the person is like a personal preference all right for me i'm going to speak from two perspectives and point of views from my personal um point of view and preference like for me makeup is just an accessory the same way that i would accessorize with my earrings and my jewelry and my bags and whatever for me makeup is an accessory when i'm going oh it's just one more thing to do to complete the look, you know, you wouldn't leave home without your hair done a certain way and neatly done. For me, makeup is just one more thing. It complements my mood. Like today, I wasn't in the mood for full out eyeshadow, but I still wanted drama on my eyes, so I added a wing. You know, it's just fun. Drama Shana, on your eyes? Yeah, like drama? drama meaning like I want you to <laughs> to be oh, drawn gosh, in. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Like, I want a drama on my eyes, so. Like you said, you know, but sometimes I go and I do my hair. You see, people want to hear you, Shauna, so just give me a little more volume. People yeah, want to hear you. but uh -huh. me personally, like, even though I'm a makeup artist, like, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure, like, 70% of the time that you see me, I'm not wearing makeup. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So just... But then, on, on, on the other hand, uh -huh. speaking from my client's point of view, I've never had a client, no, I'm lame. I've had two persons come to me and wanted to use makeup to cover mm -hmm. up something but the majority of my clients i would tell you they just want to look good they just want to sparkle they just want to glow they want to stand out when they go so they use makeup as just like i said an accessory to kind of stand out and feel good about themselves that one extra thing to complete the outfit i'll speak about the two ladies because there were two separate issues uh -huh. one of the ladies she had a skin condition she was not born with it she developed it into adulthood and it was very difficult for her to deal with that as an adult you know sometimes children as brutally honest as they can be they can be and a bit hurtful yeah, uh -huh. a bit hurtful so she used makeup as a tool to cover the skin condition i guess as a coping method and you could understand that it's okay uh -huh. there was another lady she was suffering with really 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 bad acne and a lot of people say when you have acne, it's best to treat it. Yes, but the treatment is not going to work overnight. So during the process of treatment, you may have an event to attend. You don't want to show up at the event with your acne in all of its glory. You want to look your best again. So 
So during that process, she would come, she would have her makeup done, but it's not to say that she's not taking care of her skin, which I think is a misconception that a lot of people have. Like if you have acne and you wear makeup, you're not taking care of your acne. That's not true. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I just think people misinterpret makeup and think women are using it to trick them, especially men. And I think I mean, y'all jealous, oh, you know. I think y'all jealous. It, it yeah. only feels like a trick some days. Shauna, I think what it is with men and us and makeup is that they have to wash their face, brush their teeth, and go. <laughs> and we get to do, like, something extra. I did forever to do it. And I, I think they're forever. jealous. I think y'all bitch and men are jealous. No, like I mentioned to Shauna, you know, I feel like there should be a machine <laughs> that, you know, helps women apply it then a little faster, you know? Like, yeah. for example, I'm ready to go out and I have to sit down in my car and sit down on my girlfriend's couch for an additional 25, 30, and one hour. You should it, you know? I mean, I mean, my How goodness. So if we did it a little faster, y'all would be a little more okay with it. Possibly, yeah. And maybe, you know, if there was a case that I could probably rest my hand on your face without it, you know, really doing damage to my hand or my shirt, I wouldn't mind that, you know? Because, like, I'm going to be honest, I'm a guy that, you know, my girlfriend can tell you, I like to be around her face quite often, you know? So, you know, when there's makeup on, I mean, she's here looking at me like, mm, mm, mm. But, you know, when the makeup is on, it's like, mm. Don't come near me. Mm. You <laughs> Don't know, talk that's to me. You see, that's yeah. Alright, so ladies, we're talking accessories, and I must say thank you very much to Aura. I said it perfectly there. Aura Arts and Photography, you know, for this amazing set design that we have here. And with that said, guys, we're going to take a commercial break and come right back with makeup, trick or treat. We're back, and as you can see, our set design changed a little bit. I have a product here called Too Faced. We're gonna have something called the Too Faced Challenge, thanks to Shauna. All right, so ladies, you know, while the cameras were off, we were at commercial break, you guys were just whispering sidebar. You didn't want me to hear, so just let me hear now, you know, what were you guys really talking about there just now? We were basically saying that makeup is an art, mm -hmm. and that uh, men should have a great appreciation for it. Oh dear. Yeah. So what if I'm not a fan of art? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she appreciated that comment. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think Beijing men in particular Beijing have mm. a special mm. hatred for makeup. Mm. Like, I would be walking through Tong or through the mall, and they would just make it their business to say things like, you got too much makeup, or you sweet, but that's real enough makeup, or you don't need that makeup. And I'm like, what do you think they need makeup? This is my walking business card, you know? Like, this is my introduction to the world as a makeup artist. But they always assume that women need it or that we're using it to trick them. And that is not always the case. And what's funny is that if I walk around without any makeup, I get so much compliments, people talking me, people stalking me, like... It's such a different reaction, mm -hmm. and that shouldn't be. I think men do need to have a greater appreciation or understanding for women that wear makeup. This, like I said earlier, the same way we get our hair done, our nails done, like makeup is just one other step mm -hmm. to looking good. And I think that yeah, y'all should give us some leeway and not be so harsh in thinking that we depend on it or that we are using it to trick. Or manipulate you honestly half the time when we get ready we don't even be thinking about y'all we don't spend an hour on youtube learning how to do these things because of y'all i think men take too much credit for what mm, women do okay. most of the time mm, mm. I, I won't take offense it's never about y'all i understand it's for the selfies also no not even that it's about us Okay, and okay. how we feel. Yep. Okay. You know? All right, so since we're talking you know how we feel inspiration for doing certain things you know anybody could start on this one you know what was it that got you wanting to be a makeup artist? Um, honestly, I used to work at a makeup store and I would be like, you know, I've never been a makeup artist. Like, mm -hmm. I just always say that. You know, I said I love makeup. I was like, I'll never be a makeup artist. And two years later, I'm here. <laughs> makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> but was there anything in particular that drove you to, you know, want to be or just like, hey, you know what? I'm a wrong date. Let me start. Um, actually, I just, yeah, I just decided to start trying it out on my friends, mm -hmm. and then I love being able to 
transform them and then like the fact that they loved it so I was like you know what just let me try it out and mm -hmm. it worked out really well I love that you use that word transform that's why I said quotation marks <laughs> transforming it but, but yes I understand it. I understand you know I said I'm gonna be devil's advocate just tell me now which you know in terms of the brand fairy faces you know your inspiration behind it you know probably what led to the name that kind of stuff well, as I mentioned from a child, I was always that one who was always into dolling up. Mm -hmm. I was that girly girl. And people, some of my friends and myself, refer to me as a fairy godmother. Okay, because yeah. I would always be playing with somebody, trying mm -hmm. to do something or the other. Wand, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it just okay. made sense. I was brainstorming, trying to find a name for my makeup business after I decided, okay, well, let me try to pursue this. And fairy mm -hmm. came to mind. Um, I changed the spelling, of course, because I was not going to use the regular Using spelling. Uh -huh. It's just not going to happen. Not so, yeah. <laughs> Far from basic. So, that's how the name came about. But it really does represent who I am as a person and an artist. Like Shauna said, I love transformations. I love the reaction that I get when someone sees themselves after they've been made up. Yeah, because it, oh. it gives you like such a fulfilling yeah. feeling. You know? yep. Because when they see it, it's like, oh my gosh, wow, I look so good. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yep it's a fulfilling feeling so hey ladies you know so we're talking fulfillment now all right so just as we start to wrap up a bit before you actually get to my two-faced challenge um uh, those ladies you know because there are some who feel that they are not beautiful unless you know they are i don't want to use the word cape down but you understand the expression i'm looking for you know totally patted down makeup wise you know like Face is fully done. I see Shauna looking at me for my choice of words, but I, I hope yeah. you understand. But I think you need to change them. Maybe. All right, okay, so not yeah, kidding. You're talking about men appreciation. Oh, sorry. Yes. All right, let's try some appreciative words. Yeah. You know, ladies who don't feel like they can leave home without a full face of makeup. That's better? A tad bit. Though. A tad bit. But yeah, you know, for those ladies, you know, what kind of advice would you guys offer them as makeup artists, you know, to let them know that, you know, that they are beautiful without the full face of makeup to just go two doors down to the shop? It really comes from within, to be mm -hmm. quite honest. Like, you are still the same person you were with or without the makeup. Like, Amen. Nothing has changed. Like, beauty is like what you portray to people. This is just a look. You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Like, even though some people are like, conceited and they just look at that, the outer shell, mm -hmm. but the inner shell is what really matters, to be quite That's just my opinion. It's true. Mm -hmm. I think that has more to do with insecurity holistically mm -hmm. rather than an issue specifically with makeup. Yeah, okay. If you are insecure to the point where you can't go to the shop or go somewhere without makeup, and that's something that you have to look within mm -hmm. about. Um, there's no amount of advice that I can give you. I could tell you put on less concealer, but that's not <laughs> going to fix. You know, it's not going to fix the insecurity. So I think persons need to address that first and that's another misconception as well i think men think that because women wear makeup that we're insecure that's the furthest thing from the truth mm -hmm. i was watching a sitcom the other day and the woman referenced somebody who was wearing makeup and she was like oh she's an easy target she's insecure mm -hmm. her hair her makeup is done her boobs are done she she must be insecure and i think that is such that says more about the person uh -huh. that said hey, it uh -huh. than the actual person they were referring to. But I would tell those ladies to fix their insecurities on the inside, work on who they are as a person, and, you know, they'll be fine after that, I'm Amazing sure. Amazing advice. Now, it's my turn. It is my turn. <laughs> it is challenge time. So, Shauna has brought some... I'm going to call them products because that's what they are, right? Some products. Yeah. And basically, I'm supposed to guess what they are, right? And I guess what they're used for. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope you didn't Google any of this stuff. No, I didn't Google. I really did sure? not Google. I, I, I I'm supposed to know. Ask my girlfriend. Ask her. Ask her. No, <laughs> I didn't Google. I can trust her though. You're She's right. your girlfriend. You're She's right. on your side only. Mm, agreed. The only thing I, I mean, be honest, the only thing I've ever done is been forced to watch a couple tutorials. Mm -hmm. So like, I know that I text some big brush and do something, so I flick up. Oh. I just call it a highlight. I just blush and all. <laughs> oh, you, you use a big brush, right? Yeah. I know you use a brush. And you know, I he was sorry. paying attention. We got watching. Mm -hmm. How do you remember all of this? Because there are <laughs> multiple tutorials. She can. There are multiple. Right, so let's watching. begin. I have no choice. I have no choice. <laughs> so we're gonna give it this. This looks like the easiest thing. This is lip balm. Yes. Wait. You see? I rub this on your lips. Keep reading the labels. This is way too easy. Oh, sorry, this is sorry, too easy. All right. So let me just look for the back then. Uh, yeah. See? All right. So yeah. this here. A bottle. There's a bottle of water. And we get ingredient <laughs> direction. Just. Light makeup as usual. You can't even read that. You're reading the labels. 
In a tutorial, they see something called satin spray. So I can guess that this is satin spray. Okay. I right? I wrong? I correct? He cheating. Oh, he cheat. That's your right answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I said I right. All right. This thing here, this thing called Too Face. Why you forget what your name? Better than sex. Better than sex. <laughs> that ain't possible. <laughs> Your girlfriend should try it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you that comment. Um, <laughs> ain't he hot, Steve? Boy. I don't know what you say this <laughs> bottle, so I just say lipstick. Uh, Wrong. Yeah, it's mascara. Oh, mascara? Yeah. That's a big black thing? I'm not sure if it's big. What do you mean? <laughs> it's called better than sex, you know? So, <laughs> it's a big black thing. <laughs> Oh Alright, this thing here. <laughs> yeah, I can only assume that is the actual makeup, not the truth. Uh, you can open it and look at it if you want. Oh, okay. No, first outside, take a, take a gas from outside. Fairy dust, so I can assume it is the powdery substance that is makeup. No, don't open it yet. Oh, don't open it, it yet. What's the powdery substance that's makeup? Because, you know, there are different types of powders. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yes. Alright, let me tell you this. My mother has a powder that in a black case, and she's flipping it open with a little small thing. Okay, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> but it still look like that powder. Okay, so what does it look like then? The one that y'all can use regularly, so the one with different colors. Uh huh, what's it called? Makeup! Mm. And dust! You said dust? Wait. See if you could figure it out. Let me make sure I open it right. Yeah, makeup! The glitter! <laughs> shimmer! <laughs> shimmer! <laughs> shimmer! Yeah, I ain't call it shimmer, I hear that word already. Man, I mentioned a big brush that blush, so I can call this the blush thing. Close. You get warm. Yeah. The blusher. <laughs> blushy. Yeah, you know. What was the name? What was the name? Blushy. <laughs> what was the name? Shawna, you want to tell him? It's called a highlighter. So, so this is a blender. Not for the blender. She got is a circle ball thing. Oh, okay. Because I thought you were calling this a blender. Because I was so confused. This is a powder brush thing, man. Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna do something I can assume that is it. That is it. Yeah, it has more than one use though. Oh, okay. You can use it to like, like I say, if you do your foundation and uh -huh. highlight, first you can use it to just gently put on the face and you can rest your hand on it so you won't get any... <laughs> 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 Ladies, I must say it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys here. Makeup trick or treat. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no tricking, it's only tricking. As a black, <laughs> Beijing man, I will appreciate the art of artist makeup. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Progress! <laughs> it has been an amazing start to Crosstalk Season 2. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we head into the kitchen. And, of course, we have our Barbados Public Workers Entrepreneur Features. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys later. <sighs> kitchen if you guys only knew how hard I worked to turn my living room into set for today my goodness gentlemen first of all introduce yourselves on my right Marvin Napoli and Trevon Stowe yes and these gentlemen are going to show me how to cook show me how to eat something um have you come up with a name for this segment yet gentlemen I'm not sure as yet but everybody gonna eat everybody gonna eat <laughs> that's what we call it for now all right gentlemen so just tell me a bit about what we are going to start with now for today's segment well, they can basically be a fruit salad, but mm. a fruit salad with a twist. Uh -huh. right? So now we 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 you can step on the fruit a little bit. You got the, your fresh kiwi, you got the, the blueberries, the grapes, the grapes, the bananas. We can finish with the nice things for me, granola. Mm -hmm. That's peanuts and oats and what's not. Okay. Probably, probably would finish this with the granola and what's in the granola. Uh, All right. The granola is some salted peanuts, um, oats that is drizzled with honey and some spices that I won't let you know. Uh, um, <laughs> a special mix. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then it's dried out in the oven at a very low temperature. Mm. And this right here is a homemade citrus yogurt. I don't know if you want to try that. I don't make it. I guess I mean, as I say, you know, I don't want to do yogurt, but this will like change. Like, like that's changing. Right, changing. That's very life changing. Sir. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> it's not too bad at all. Alright, so let me just get out your way. Let me slide this side, you know, and let you guys get to it. Well, normally. Mm. See people normally just say 
peel the bananas and eat the bananas, we can do something a little different with it. Oh, they get a bit fancy yeah, the bananas Yeah, a little fancy, a fancy. Little fancy. So even if you want to impress your girlfriend, you know, you're home and it's a bit, we got some fresh fruits in the fridge mm. and we do something nice, nice, you understand? Baby, you want me to impress you? It's a little, yeah. Alright, so now I see Cassie banana. Uh -huh. We can go down with the yogurt. No, we can try this two different cells today. We got your slate clear and you have the jar. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. put yogurt on a plate? Yeah. Prepare to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's trending worldwide uh -huh. in the culinary, the culinary world. You have something by the name of a splatter. That's uh -huh. a rustic plating. Uh -huh. Yeah. You want to guess what that's done? My spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. All across my mother table. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was okay. Mm -hmm. Right? What we could do now, let's cement that a little more refined. You can tell that. We can dry that down like that. Mm -hmm. Cut the plate in half. Eat the angle. Yeah? So it's kind of rustic. Not I'm rough. just going to slide this inside so people can probably see the plate I mean, no a little problem. better. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you go with the banana though. You can make different points on the plate with the banana. Uh -huh. You understand? Some points on the plate with the banana and angles. You know, with kiwi as well. Between if you want, you know, wherever. Let's get a little knock with it. Feel the plate. Yogurt and fruit never looks so good. Just <laughs> <laughs> feel the plate. Feel the plate. Yeah. And you can only have berries, fresh berries, grapes. You see, this whole great place are birth. Mm. See, so you got bumps like this. Uh, yeah. uh, you got bumps like this. So, what you would do with the crumbles? I, I, you show I, me what you can do with that. Everybody show you. The guy, actually, let me see a glove there. No problem. Yeah. I'm on a glove, Mark. Alright, what will I do with the crumble? No. Oh. I'm hoping not to mess up this extra pretty <laughs> design that's going on right now. You make it you. Alright, so the but crumble. Touch how you do. Alright, so so is a lot of crumble or a little bit of crumble? As much as you can eat. Everybody go eat. I mean to put you under pressure. We had a splash, we had a line. She's on look. Drizzle. Jeez. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 Alright, so before I had to eat, you guys told me that you're going to move out and probably put it in the bowl, so I oh. guess you could go ahead and start to do that now. No problem. Yeah. This time around, Marvin's going to put this one in the jar. Okay. He's okay. going to give you his, his version of this lovely, lovely fruit salad. Mm -hmm. So the salad is really done in sight. Mm -hmm. Get some yogurt all in there. Mm -hmm. Right down there. Make sure that runs right through it. And you're just going to top it with some fresh blueberries. Crumble? And the crumble wants more. The Amos crumble. Can you taste that crumble? No, I didn't taste it. So sure. For okay, sure. Let me see. I, I actually liked the yogurt. <laughs> so let's see about the crumble now. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes like ice cream. They need not eat Sunday ice cream. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And there you have a more relaxed plating. Personally, for like home use, when you just want to dig right in there with your fruit salad. Right. Pretty healthy on mornings as well. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess once again, I guess, you know, watch your taste. Mm. So let's see what's going on here. Mm. Just get everything, Joe, don't be partial. Alright, we can get some of everything. <laughs> Almost some of everything. Mm. 
mean, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Might I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you Alright, gentlemen, well, thank you so very much for that fruit salad, right? That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna be making some fruit salad from now on, as long as you guys tell me ingredients. Alright, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head to a quick commercial break, but when we come back, there's more on Crosstalk. The Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union. This is where you belong. Over the years, we care for you to help you meet your needs. We're trustworthy, dependable, so you can go financially. The Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union. This is where you belong. Okay, so welcome back to another entrepreneur feature. Um, today we have Jordan English from JE Marketing. Yeah. Jordan, nice to have you here on the show. Yeah, nice to be here. Thank you. So, um, Jordan, just start tell us a little bit about what you do. Tell us about JE Marketing. All right, so JE Marketing is a small business. What we do is basically construct marketing content for promoters, for our brand owners, um, with a concentration of video media. So every now and again, we'll do birthday parties, um, and different things involving video media like after movies, um, commercials. Yeah, but it's definitely mainly for our promoters and people that own brands. Yeah, so is it, am I right in saying that after movies, that's the main thing that you do? Yeah, for sure. If you, like people that would know, um, like Jay Martin, they will more than let you know it from after movies. And I mean, honestly, I feel like me personally before like 2016, I never heard about this whole after movie thing. Like, where did this concept come from? Where, how did you get into that? Um, well, I started J marketing in November, in like November. Um, it was after movies and stuff was around, but it was only like you will only really see like after movies from a certain caliber events, like premium events and like like a lot of the upscale crop over events. Mm -hmm. um, but because before I started J Marketing, I was always like involved with events, working with events, had a few of my own events. And I just started to realize um, from, from following different entertainment scenes in different countries and stuff, how, how powerful and how important video media was. Right. So yeah, I just decided I can start doing it for myself um, and for my friends that held events as well. So I mean, as far as editing anything, whether it be a picture or a video, the only thing I can edit is probably paint on filters on IG pictures. <laughs> but um, how did you, you know, get your get your get your training for the, for this editing? Um, all right, I went to BCC and I done mass communications. So I would say in mass communications, we touch up a little bit on editing, um, doing like PSAs. Mm -hmm. It's like very very PSA editing stuff, but it still gives you like a basic understanding of how to use a video program and then um, everything else was YouTube. Yeah, YouTube had the answer to everything else and then it's just like practice. It's yeah. just yeah, just do once you just do it constantly it's like eventually start to become second nature, you get more comfortable with it and then it's be easy. Okay, so I mean like you obviously are always gonna be doing after movies because there are always going to be parties, always going to be cruises, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But where do you want to take Jay Marketing? Well, all right, well, for, I could tell you for the next, I could tell you my, my short term goal is to travel and do it. Um, I want to like do every um, carnival, especially I want to start with the Caribbean circuit. I started, um, I went to Jamaica and I covered um, the UE carnival yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah. So I want to carry on hitting the carnivals and to um, start promoting the company and doing video media like regionally in the Caribbean. Um, then I obviously I would get to a certain age where it's like I don't want to be going out and on a cruise every weekend videoing so I want to um, then take the marketing to a corporate level where for companies I would do like subcontracting marketing to like a company you know what I mean they could just you know what I mean? Just contract me to do all of their marketing for like a year or. I mean, this is this is really impressive. I think um, you're really seeing into the future, and um, I think you're pretty young, like 20, is it? Yeah, 20. And um, I just wonder, like, what kind of advice would you give to like people your age who might be thinking about, you know, stepping outside the box and doing something that they okay. really like to do? To just do it. 
yeah just like all right as always be around people that got good ideas um to do like especially like things in business yeah. but every time you everybody knows like to start anything that will make money you need money mm-hmm. and that's always be the problem so um a lot of people are like restricted from like putting their 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 ideas into action because yeah. they're thinking about well i need to buy this exactly. and i need to buy that i need all this money but you don't really need all that money you just need the the first, if the first thing you need for your business is a logo, all right, well, get the money for your logo and get the logo, that done. If the second thing you need, all right, the second thing for me would have been a camera. Find a way to get the money. We, we, we can always find money to do stuff. You know what I mean? Discipline yourself to get the money, get the tools that you need, and just start it. Like, don't worry about all the rest of things that you need because they can come, but you got to start. And no, you would never get them if you don't start. So. Okay, so, I mean... Listening to you, this obviously isn't just taking up a camera and just going and taking some shots. So what are some of the other challenges that you have to deal with? Nah, yeah, it's definitely not taking up a camera. Um, one of my challenges was, at, when I first started, this was one of the challenges. Recording people is a very funny thing, especially um, in certain environments. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, you know, you know about the different caliber mm-hmm. of events. So let me say if you get a certain type of event, where there's people that don't want to be seen, however, sometimes they might get very aggressive, especially if it's a, like a nighttime cruise, okay. um, where the light always seems brighter right, right, in the face. It makes people uncomfortable sometimes. Some people, especially if they, they may meant to be at the event or they tell somebody that they're not going to be here, they might get a little aggressive. You know what I mean? Girl tells your boyfriend she ain't to a cruise, she did, she ain't trying to be seen. You know what I mean? A lot of relationship politics. Right. Just get yeah, that. Yeah. that was, and another problem that I would get is like waiting on payments. And surprisingly, like, I always find myself having to like wait on payments from like bigger companies or, you know what I mean, more established companies that, that yeah. you would expect to deal with business straight. And then I would go give props to a lot of young promoters as well, young people that's that started working with me in the early and stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of them actually tend to deal with you straight financially yeah, business, over yeah. the people that you expect to do it. So it's, it's well, a funny I thing. mean, definitely it sounds like you know there are a lot of variables to consider when you know doing marketing services like, like you do. But um, it's definitely been a great conversation here, Jordan. Thanks for having sure. me. Thanks yeah. for being here today. So that wraps up another Crosstalk Entrepreneur feature. And um, we can't wait to have you back here next week. Peace.